Hey guys, this is Jolly All Gen Gamer here, Christopher, and today let's look at one of the <laughs> one of the oddest consoles, and this is made by Casio. And before you go on to the video, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know when I upload new content here to the channel. And let's get started now. So this is the Casio Loopy. Only released in Japan, only marketed to females, but uh yeah, the console is Casio's second attempt uh, for a home console. They made the Casio PV-1000, which I showed in an earlier video a few weeks ago, and that came out in 1983. 1983. This one came in 1995, and it's considered a 32-bit era console. But it reminds me of, like, Super Nintendo, kind of. But this is the only console you're going to find that has a built-in printer. So... Uh, yeah, you can print your stuff out, and the printer does work, and still has printing paper in it. And I had printed these, printed this sticker, which is, uh, uh, I don't know what it is, but kind of funny. It has this pretty interesting thing. It has, like, a, also a piece where you can just cut it off as well. Like, if you press this, it will cut the, uh, the sheet for you, and you can stick these up, which is funny. But, yeah, this is the only console I know has a built-in printer. So we have that. And it's the SV100, MySeal Computer. So this one, again, it's the Casio Loopy. And where does it say Loopy? Right there in hearts. And this is where it comes out, the piece of paper. One controller port. So you have the one controller. And then it has the cassette in. There's a humongous eject button. You can hear that and a reset and the power switch and then that. Uh, the controller, it has that same logo, a start button, A, B, C, and D, which is oddly placed. Then there is a right and a left shoulder trigger button. The back, it is hard to read because the iPhone, I don't know. Okay, so this control model is XN-100, Casio Computer Company, made in Japan, my seal computer. So there it is. And I bet you these are just warning, but this is where to cut it again. Maybe do not cut yourself or something. But yeah, these cartridges came like that. I have about, let me see. It came with two, three, four. Uh, well, it came with five cartridges but one are one's a double so we have uh i can't read that this is a plot i think this is a platformer game i forgot already this is a visual novel kind of like actually i'm sorry not a visual novel this is the one where you have to use a mouse but you can also use your controller and you're supposed to like uh uh i think you're supposed to apply makeup i don't know kind of odd same thing with this one i guess this is like a, a quiz game and this is a a dog game like the only platformer of this one this is how the back of the of the cartridges are it's a my seal computer rom cassette and uh yeah and there's proprietary screws so you can't like i think it's the same security bit screws that are used on uh super nintendo super famicom games so this is how you put it in and you can hear that and then to eject it there you go Woo! and then this is how the cartridge port looks like actually it's hard to see actually it's hard to really see but that's how it looks like it has its own power brick uh the model number for the power brick is uh 80 2410 j yeah uh, and then what else can we say about this? Let's take a look. So one controller port, it has that. It's like kind of like a, uh, uh, um, I was gonna say it has a shiny glossy look there. This is for contrast, which is for the printer. Uh, this is the AC in, and it only has composite. It doesn't have, there's no S video or anything, which is unfortunate. So that's all you can do with this. 
Uh, and then down here, it just says, well, it says more information, like the serial number, what it is. Down here, it says use AC adapter AD-2410, 1994, where it's made, made in Japan, and uh, yeah. So that's about it with this thing. It's a uh, oddly console, but it's part of gaming history and it's part of the 32-bit, uh, uh, like the fifth console generation, along with like, you know, the N64, PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, uh, the FM Towns Marty, Amiga CD32, 3DO, this game, uh, Apple Bandai Pippin. There's a lot of consoles in the fifth generation. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, this game, well, I did just show it to you in action. All right, so everything is hooked up here. And when you first turn it on, you're gonna hear the printer go on. Watch. And there you go, there's the startup for the Casio Loopy. And then, there it is. I don't know, it's this dog game. Uh, press start. Yeah. Oh, this is your name. All right. So that's about it. Interesting that the composite video is really, you know, blurry and stuff. Yeah, it has like graphics from like Super Nintendo can do these graphics easily. So I don't know if there's a flash card for this thing. That'd be funny if there is. But um, yeah, so yeah, this is the printer. That's the best. I think that's the best feature of this console. Really weird. I should do a gameplay of this. I think the dog wants to be named too, so. Too bad you can't do it in, there's no like, like English thing, but this is a Japanese console, so that's why, kanji. All right, well, that is the Casio Loopy for you, and you just press reset and it would reset. And you hear the printer again. All right, so that is Casio Loopy. Thank you for watching, and until next time, so you, what you do is you just turn this off, and then you hear it, you flick this whole thing, and it like, there you go, it sounds, I don't know, but do you really need it? Let me just try to remove it without the eject. Take it out, oh yeah, you can just take it out easily, you don't really need to press the eject button. Alright, so, anyway, thank you for watching again, and until next time, take care, have a good one. Look at some other games though, I just realized. Let's just see. Okay, so we have Little Romance. <laughs> Interesting. terrible so we have that game and then we have this game I don't know what that is Yeah.
that one. And then let's look at one more game. We have uh, this game. There we go. So that's the last one. Anyway, thank you again for watching, and until next video, take care. Have a good one.